thread I'm going to be using, this is a 6 so in black. Now I'm going to put a layer of thread there, I'm going to remove the base piece. Now the, I'm going to put a tag on the fly, and I'm going to use, normally there's not a tag, but I like a tag. It separates, there's going to be a tail of red, uh, yellow buck tail on this. And when I push the sleeve up, I just don't like the, the sleeve to touch the hair. So what I like to do is put a small tag on now, I'm catching it on the side, the length of the tag, just a small piece of the oval tinsel. Now this will protect it if you do this. Put some super glue, just light coating all the way around. And then form your tag, touching turns with the oval silver tinsel up to this point here. Then basically catch it on the side, nice and tight. Now what I like to do is cut, see there's the mark for halfway up, because the body's two colours, it's red and black. So I've trimmed there, take it down, I'm trying to keep it on the side. Now there's your mark, and then I bring my thread back down. The tail especially, I'm going to roll it all the way around. Get some yellow bucktail, dyed yellow, nice bright yellow bucktail. Just kind of line up the tips, just look at it. Just line the tips up. You could stack it if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Now the length, about the full length of the tube over the back. All I'm going to do here is use the thread, encourage the fibres to run all the way around. Now, you see how it's like twisted there a wee bit? Now, there's only a couple of loose turns here. Now the tube fly holder is slightly in the way, but what you do is just bring the tips of your scissors in and bring them round. Then, what I do is tighten up towards the tag. But at this point I would check just to see how well you've, you've actually put it round, and that's ideal, it's all the way around. You could trim just this a full length, just take away. It's up to yourself how you do this. Now what I like to do at times is just tidy this part up. This is why I use the this thread that's 6 so covers better and quicker. Any, any fibres you miss, just break them off. Then bring the thread back down. Now about halfway, now I'm halfway down I'm going to tie in the oval tinsel. Catch it on the side, silver oval, take up. This is basically a shrimp, a hair wing shrimp fly. This point here. Get some red floss, just a rail in of some sort. I'm just rubbing it through my fingers to open up the floss. Catch it on the side, again halfway up the waist end, just to give you that measure and help stop the, lump, stop the lumps and bumps. Then when I'm winding up, I slightly open it up. Now the first turn's important because it's best to check to see where it's sitting. It's all the way around and up against the yellow buck tail and that's what you want. This makes for a neater fly. Then wind it down, all the way up. halfway. This point here, cross your thread, tie it down, trim it the length, trim it off the waist and keep the waist at the length of the second part of the body. Just trim these away. You cover these up with the black floss as you come down. Bring your rib up. Now, you're looking probably around about, at least I would say four, four turns is plenty. Now I like to do a, you do a straight turn here, which will lock it in, tie it down. Again, trim it the full length, and then if we do anything, tidy up again. What I'm trying to do is keep a balance in the fly. Bring your thread back down. Now it's got red bucktail in the centre. Now there's different ways you could actually really put this on each side, or you can bring it right down meaning right round, just like I did with the yellow bucktail, it's entirely up to you. Now I'm just going to roll it all the way around, because mainly this is what's done. Again, like the yellow bucktail, I'm going to line up the points. Take your time. So you could stack it, but I'm just going to use my own eye. There we go. Now the length-wise, 
could be slightly less than the yellow bucktail or the same length. Now I'm going to keep it the same length. I know it looks, doesn't you really buy shrimp flies, you're meant to keep them separate, but I'm going to keep them the same length. All the way around, tighten up. Trim away. Body length. Now what I like to do is here, is bring these cut ends down and loose turns a thread up. It's easier to do that than try and touch and turn and bring them up because they all want to go their own way. Once I get it up here, then I come back down, tighten them tighter. Now I stop and then I get my silver rib again. Catching the silver rib on the side. Just work your way down. Now get some black floss. It looks all over the place just now, but we'll see. Now tie this down. Cover up the floss. Just tidy up. Obviously form the second part of the body. Take your time. You should be at least uh, around about three to four mil from the end of the tube. Again, tie it down. Trim away the waist. Bring up your rib. Just looks better if you do that. Come up against your thread. Put a 90 degree bend into the oval tinsel. Three or four turns to hold and again I would cut away and then remove or untwist the oval tinsel. It makes for a better head. It takes away the, smooths it off anyway, it makes a, takes a lump away. Take your thread down to the end of the tube and come back up. Now you want some black bucktail. Now you need a good length. I like this to come right to the back of, or just by the yellow slightly. Everybody's got their own idea what to do here. Again, just line up the points and these are actually not too bad. Lengthwise, as I say, right to the back. You want to roll this all the way around. Just hold it and allow the thread to carry the fibres all the way around. Now don't overdo it. If you've got too much hair on, you have problems tying off. Just tie it down with three or four turns. Take away the excess. Just work your way around. Just watch your thread as you're doing it. Always keeping the thread, using your finger to draw the thread away. Nothing worse than catching, cutting your thread at this point. Just check. And then nice and tight, thread down to the end of the tube. If you feel it's going to slip, do a couple of zigzags with the thread. Get it nice and tight. Keep the thread tight, don't let it go at this point. Try not to catch any fluff that's on the table. Go straight in and whip finish. Trim away the waste. Now what you've got to do now, I'll take it, remove That's it from here, put some varnish on it. Now I've got some plastic sleeves here. And what I like to do is grab it, just moisten the end of the tube, slide it on, push it all the way up to the tag, nice and tight. And there you are. See, all you have to do then is to varnish the head. Now I'm going to press back on this tube fly holder, just to hold it, so you can see what it's like. There you are. Now I'm going to put some varnish on the head to finish it. All the way around. Now I usually put about three coats on. And there you go. And that there is your Comet tube fly.